Hello, hello everybody. Oh, that was a bit loud. I just saw that spike. I'm sorry for everyone's ears. How are you today? It's been a while since I've been in front of the camera. Uh, yes, so today I have here with me Sasha, the product owner of Call of the Wild. Dropping in, saying hello, giving us a few updates. Uh, in case you missed it, there was a an update regarding one, the patch notes for Rancho Del Arroyo that is in the Discord server, and there are links, uh, hopefully, in the description, the way I set it up, and in the social media as well, and also uh, the the update or the general update regarding the release of Rancho Del Arroyo. I was about to say Te Oroa, and then just like half a second before, I'm just like, nope. <laughs> I've almost written it like four times as well whilst drafting social media too. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just a thing. Um, so today is just going to be a just chatting session. Um, I've got a few questions and uh, that I'm going to sort of fire at Sasha. Um, on top of that, after which we'll be opening it up to the general floor. Um, the reason why we're going through, I guess, a pre-listed FAQ is because it's what we would sort of see as the most commonly asked or asked straight off the bat. So we're just going to deep dive in. There are also uh, a few more, um, what do you call it, Nightbot commands for YouTube and, and Twitch as well. And I've given our, our lovely mods um, and our um, a couple of our marketing team members access to that as well. So they know what to sort of post and when. Uh, so yes, without any further ado... Sasha, would you like to uh, open it up? Um, I guess there is a, a topic that has sort of been discussed um, internally and externally a little bit um, regarding last Tuesday's stream, and I just thought that we would want to touch on that just quickly before we dive into Rancho Del Arroyo. You can't hear him? No, oh, I can hear you really loud. Filters, properties, advanced audio properties. Monitor of Put audio. I'm just gonna one second folks. Can you say something again? It's it's showing up here on the um the volume mixer, so I have no idea what's going on. Hold on. Monitor off. What's going on? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just just keep keep I don't know, squirrel talk for a little bit. <laughs> No, you're, I'm hearing you super loud, so I'm not sure what the issue is. Audio input, gaming PC. Okay. And digital cam link. Let's go with that one. I'm echoing, I'm echoing now. now. Meh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How about now? <laughs> Why? But there is no game. There is only Zol. Uh. Audio input, audio capture. Everything's working, hunky dory. <sighs> Sasha, Sasha is, is using, using the, the webcam, webcam microphone. microphone. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Like, like I can, I can see, see the audio, audio output, output here, here. Um, um, perfectly, perfectly, and it's, and it's, it's, it's spiking, spiking where it needs, where it needs to, be to be spiking. spiking. Why must, why things, must happen? things happen? This is why we can't have the nice things. 
Streaming PC audio. How about now? Yeah, I don't know if it's any better. Hey! Is it better now? Say yes. Please say yes. Hey. Thanks. Thanks. I don't know what's going on. That's loud. That's loud. Yeah. I'm gonna turn. This one off. And this one off. And then I'll fluff around with that later. That works. <laughs> Does work any better as well? I'm also trying something. Oh, that's different. I'm fixed. Okay, so this works for them. Okay, cool. Well, let's try with this, I guess. <laughs> Don't ask me. We've, uh, we've done some rearranging here in, in the streaming lab. Um, so yeah, new new inputs go to new outputs, and I thought that I had the the, the right one, but apparently not. It is uh, Ron McKeith said, you know, curse of life. Now it seems to be working. It is the curse so of life. It's Murphy's law. Now, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'll start anyways. Uh, first, while we're saying hello to everyone, uh, could be a bit louder. Yeah, I'm super loud though now, Theo. But let's see if maybe you can increase my volume. Already done. Uh, oh, nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, as I was saying before, if I look a bit strange, it's because I'm looking at the chat at the same time, so it might look a bit weird, just so you know. Uh, but we wanted to talk, as uh, as Megal said, about uh, last week's stream a little bit, because there's been a lot of chatter around the community, and we wanted to make sure to take it uh, early and just, you know, I know there was a lot of questions. Someone, for example, asked, how's TK? Uh, so, as, well, I think a lot of you know, especially the ones joining today, we decided to remove the stream uh, that we had last week because we had some uh, feedback about the outfit that was worn during the stream and and we acknowledged there was uh, inappropriate and cultural uh, appropriation and to be clear the decision to start with the stream to do it this way and to remove it that's all a team decision so it's not on one person it's it's something that we you know we deal together as a team uh, and and that's how we like to operate. Now, I wanted to make it super clear as well that, you know, from our side, there was no ill intent or it wasn't malicious, uh, but it doesn't reflect our values. And to us, it's clear that it was a mistake. Uh, and we're sorry if we hurt anyone in the process while doing, uh, doing that. Uh, being that said as well, you know, we want to have like a friendly community with all of you and usually, you know, people are very friendly and, you know, we want to have people to be able to say, you know, what they think and we want everyone to feel welcome in the community because ultimately, you know, this game is a game that we make for, for everyone. Uh, and that's why we want, we won't accept harassment of people on our team or people of our community. And we also try and, you know, live and learn from, from such things that we do. Uh, anyways, just want to thank you for listening. Uh, and then I guess we'll move on to the, the more interesting parts, which are really more things around the game. Danny, I just want to say that TK is definitely not fired. No way. Oh, did someone? No, no. I, yeah, no. There's nothing with the with TK. Again, it's not him. Uh, it's not something like he went and we're like, oh my god, no, no. It's uh, uh, for TK as he wrote on Discord. I will also mention it's more that it's it's been tough, you know, with with some of the feedback, uh, and 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 that's why we he he personally also wanted to take a step back a little bit, uh, for now. Uh, but he has our, again, we did this as a team and he has our full support. Yeah, originally uh, TK was going to jump into the stream this week, but he asked me if I could, you know, just step in so he could take a bit of a, a breather. Um, but he shall be back soon. Yeah, he'll be back killing animals with wrong calibers and shooting statues <laughs> and hoping they will die <laughs> anytime. <laughs> shooting animals horribly with a long arm and just going and, and cracking it and going back to the bow. <laughs> exactly. Okay, back uh, to the interesting stuff, I guess. Rancho Del Arroyo. Let's start off with when it will be releasing. Did you want to dive into that, Sasha? Yeah, of course. So we posted as well now uh, the release date, at least for PC, and, and the announcement around why. Uh, so we're going first with PC on the 29th of June, and then we're targeting sometime in July for consoles. Uh, to be clear, you know, again, on this one, we always are aiming for SimShip, and we really wanted to go for SimShip uh, on, on this one. Uh, however, with all the complications of submission, you know, platform-specific things, uh, we just decided that we wanted to get this update in the hands of the players ASAP. 
uh, and that means that on Steam we could do it faster. Uh, but we have uh, we're gonna go through submission uh, for search this week, uh, and hopefully there's nothing you know no extra complications. And you know we're uh, we're talking uh, weeks rather than months, as I saw on some comments. Uh, but you know we still have to see on on how certification goes. No, uh, on top of that. The uh, the cost in general, we every time that we release a a, um, a reserve, it's usually around the same sort of cost each time, or if not exactly the same. Um, so just to reiterate, the cost will be uh, was it seven ninety nine euros and seven ninety nine USD, um, or you know your your closest conversion depending on which which currency you're grabbing it in. Um, and we've already just covered the split ship there. I've also posted or set up a um, a Nightbot shortcut in that one too. Um, it's just exclamation mark split ship if you feel that you need to reiterate or if someone coming into the stream is asking that same question. So there we go. Um, yeah, so did we want to um, sort of expand, I guess, on the split ship or just kind of... Yeah, I can, I can take a little bit more time. You know, I'm also seeing, you know, like uh, PC gets special treatment. It's actually not the case like we work on each platform at the same time um, the thing is just they just work differently and there's not one that's better than the other so usually you know to go into more detailed parts of it consoles they offer a product to people where if you, it doesn't matter what you have you know if you have a ps4 or an xbox you put in a disc and it works right that they, they want no issues with that pcs a bit more uh, com it's more complicated in the set that Steam and such usually let you do what you want, uh, but it doesn't take into account that people have different PCs and all these things. So a lot of people might not be able to play the game where they have a bad PC. It's just different rules and regulations for different different people. So that requires certification and special rules and special things that we have to apply when uh, when we're developing again at the same time as we're doing it on PC for consoles, um, and and then uh, the consoles take what we send them, they review it, is it up to their standards? Um, and then and then if it is, then we're allowed to publish it. Uh, other platforms are more like, well, you publish whatever you want and it's and it's it's up to you. Um, so yeah, it's just two different kind of, of setup. Uh, but in our development uh, cycles or however you want to call it, our production, uh, there's not one that takes precedence over the other. Uh, and we're still learning on uh, you know, that even though the game has been live for, for a few years, uh, we're still learning new things all the time because the game gets bigger and it gets more complicated with every release. And we're trying to learn new things. We learn new things. You know, we want to do new things so that the game's fresh. So there's also the complexity part of, of you know, different things. Good morning, Jaxi. How are you? Well, um, I just had to duck into YouTube there and update some community permissions because spam. Um, so another thing that we've actually uh, had a few comments about um, with regards to, or like since seeing the trailer and we've also handed out um, early access to our community creators as well, which by the way, you're going to want to keep an eye on the Call of the Wild uh, alerts, community alerts, because as of 5 p.m. today, there's going to be a whole bunch of pre-release content coming out. So have a, pay have a look, share it, just engage. <laughs> um, on that note, as I was going back, I went off trajectory, but validly so. Um, one of the questions that keeps sort of coming up is, um, I sorry if I don't pronounce this, correctly um but why we didn't add uh Coos Deer and Outad to the map i'm sorry if i butchered those names yeah okay I mean, i'll take i'll take this one as well. <laughs> yeah so, <laughs> so, no, no, I don't. so yeah the, the animals and i think yeah the animals will always work in a in a similar way with every new reserve uh that we do which is we first look at okay what's the area that we're working uh we're working in and usually there's a huge list of animals that we come up with and we're like okay all these animals could be in this in this area of the world uh, and then we start with okay what what does the community what do you want uh, and, and one of the big factors in the 
in this case was, for example, the pheasants. We knew he wanted the pheasants, so there was no way we were going to miss the pheasants <laughs> in this in this map. Uh, yeah, what do you want? And then we look as well. It's like, okay, what's the amount of work uh, depending on all different factors in the team? You know, what, how much work is X, Y, and Z and, and all these things? And then the third factor is uh, once we start shortening the list is what are good synergies? So we don't end up maybe with a map where, you know, you only have small game or one where you only have predators. It can happen based on the nature of the map. So for example, Te Aoroa didn't have uh, any predators. But to come back to these two animals, the Lucus deers, and I'm not even going to try the other one, <laughs> why I didn't make it? They were actually on the original list. Uh, it just didn't feel like it was uh, it was the ones we wanted to focus on based on the synergies and what was requested. Uh, but keep on bugging Meg, I would say, around oh, hey. these things. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> if it's something you know you really want, we usually try to revisit some of the some of the maps and see if there's any good uh, species to add to them um, and on that note just to sort of recap on the species that are coming to Rancho del Arroyo so we have five new species we have the ring-necked pheasant the Rio Grande turkey the Mexican bobcat the was it antelope jackrabbit and I have to look this up um, the colored peccary not a pig hashtag um, with the existing uh, Animals, we have the white-tailed deer, the coyote, the bighorn sheep, and the mule deer. Can you tell us about some of the like um, the improvements that are coming with, with those animals, either existing or anything new that you, know, you may have implemented into the game for the new animals? So I would say the big thing is mainly for the for the new the new animals. So like the, the pheasant, where we are introducing like a whole new gameplay. Um, uh, with it, which is you know flushing, so you know it's 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 common with pheasants, but it's like it's maybe not so common as as people might think, which is usually you know you try to lure animals to you and then shoot them. In the case of pheasants, you actually try to flush them, which is scare them out of hiding to get them into the air and start uh, so they can start flying and then shoot them while they're in the air. Uh, so that I think that has been like the big uh, the the big thing uh, that we were that we have been working on that's for a new animal. For uh, some of the older uh, animals, I would say that the white-tailed deer, we just make, we're just looking quite close at making sure that the great ones feature is working well. And uh, another thing is a general thing, which I think I saw as well in the chat, which is the render issue is also something that we looked into, which affects all animal, uh, which is looking to be fixed for this, uh, for this uh, release. Yeah, um, the so while we've we've posted the the patch list for Rancho del Arroyo coming out, which is by the way about a page and a half or a page and three quarters long, so it's a big one. Um, we've also got a known issues list that I will also be posting uh, a little later on. I kind of ran out of time just before the stream because we had so much content that we needed to get through. Um, can you give the players any hints about where they might be able to find certain animals within the reserve, like a which sort of biomes they might be sort of hanging around. Oh man, this is a, this, <laughs> this, this is Just a, the, a new... the, yeah, this, this is the most difficult question for me <laughs> in a sense of, uh, I mean, I have, I have an idea based on like the, the, the big ideas, but I would say, you know, usually it's, I, I work like, um, when I play, I play like, like, I think most of you, you know, I obviously get the, the documents and how it works, but I'm, I just check, you know, where are their feed zones? How do they work with these things? But I, I don't have, no, I don't have the details of the top of my head on this one. That's okay. Um, where are we? So with the, we've also got like any, I'm pretty sure every single DLC so far or reserve release has come with a weapon. Um, and this one here is the, Kuso Model 1897 16 gauge pump action shotgun, um, and it can carry five in the chamber and can fire in uh, quick succession as well. Um, the design on it is friggin' phenomenal. Excuse the French. Um, <laughs> what was the thought process behind choosing the weapon and choosing the design as well? 
Yeah, so yeah, that's a that's a good one. It's actually we always come up, you know, with a few weapons of what would make sense, you know, and then a bit similar to the animals, and then we come up with a short list of okay, which one is it gonna gonna make it? Uh, and, and in this case, we we looked at you know what's the area, what's common for people, what are the common weapons for people to have, and what would make sense as well in the narrative of the of the story. Uh, on top of this, uh, in this case, because we had the pheasants as, as kind of the animal that you know internally we're like this is our star animal because it's the new one with the new gameplay it also in this case fits the fact that you know you use shotgun to to hunt birds and especially like uh, also these pheasants so it, it kind of came up of like oh yeah this would be a cool weapon based on on the narrative that we have because uh well, i don't want to spoil too much i don't want to say too much about the narrative and all these things so people can obviously enjoy it uh but yeah you go through the missions and then this weapon also felt like it was a, a good weapon for uh, for the quest uh, to give you, uh, and it ended up being the, the shotgun. So it was all these things together. Uh, it's always super fun to pick uh, weapons as well. Yeah, and um, I think that is, I don't know if this was actually implemented, but there's a really really cool design on on the side of the the quest one. Yeah, and it's kind of got uh, two faces from one of our, our a couple of our dev team members. <laughs> So um yeah have a look at that when you when you finally do get your hands on it it's really cool the um the design team and the art team have really gone above and beyond with this particular reserve I think um I'm still going to keep ranting on about the lighting and the sunsets and all that kind of stuff until the end of days because I I love it so much those sunsets are amazing um and just to sort of cover on that too um. I couldn't find at the moment, like this afternoon, exactly how much it will cost in store. So uh, stay tuned on that. I will post something about it either later on this week or early next week with regards to um, the in-store cost of the, because two can be unlocked in store and the third one is, is mission um, oriented. But, um, oh wait, I, never mind. I have the answer. It's 45,000 in-game monies. <laughs> I saw that after I read it. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. I think we've pretty much actually like streamed through most of everything that we wanted to talk about. Is there anything that you wanted to add before we sort of dive into the rest of the community? Uh, no, I think I'd like to give the, you know, open the floor up because I think uh, just looking into the chat, it seems like we've taken the bit the big questions already. So yeah, sounds good. Also, hello to everyone that was saying hello, how are you, and everything up until this point. We weren't ignoring you. I just really wanted to get through all this this information. Um, I was picturing it actually going until about 4.30, but that's full. That's full. Cool. That's fine. Longest intro. <laughs> Shush. Um, all right. So, constructed questions. Okay, go. A bit slower. Can you fly around? I cannot fly around. I can't use the the cam today. Um, I set up this week's stream as a bit of a like, just chatting, just chill. Uh, if we go, uh, if you know, we run out of questions, so I can I can boot her up and away we go. Just trying to. If you see anything, by the way, Sasha, just you know, reel her in. Yeah, I can I can take one uh now which is uh do you think we will eventually get pheasants on Hirschfelden? uh it's it's an interesting one i mean it's not in the plans yet uh for sure but it's something that we have on on the radar of, of thinking of like does it make sense to backfill at some point with the pheasants uh because that would that was one of the map where where it makes sense so again just you can request things i think i think on all our community side and and just know that we we go through like all of them and also then we we check with what makes sense with everything that we're doing so it's not in the plans yet but it's we always look into can we backfill uh, all the reserves as well uh, actually something worth covering as well um if you have the answer to it offhand um with regards to um the the whitetail or the great one bug um i know that that's in the known issues list um can you fill us in on uh that with regards to what's happening now and, and what you're aiming to do with the, the next major content update. So uh, the white, yeah, the white tail deer bug, I, I don't have this, a couple. this one. Yeah, this exactly a specific <laughs> one that I can think of. Uh, in terms of 
how we've tackled this this release and also why I, it's actually coming out later than usual. I don't think most people will remember is we we put out a list of things that we wanted to focus in terms of uh, actual bug fixes uh, in early May. Uh, and it's something that we've really kind of focused on and made sure uh, that would happen, uh, you know, that we would try and fix, you know, most of these. On top of this, we've actually added extra uh, beta testing and extra testing internally uh, to, you know, to make sure that we come out with as little or as few, uh, you know, major bugs uh, with with this uh, with this uh, release, so I would say yeah, there's not one specific one that I can, you know if if there's maybe a specific bug that you have, it might not be fixed. Uh, however, you know it's we we focus quite a bit uh, on testing and fixing bugs for this uh, for this update as well. Nice. Um, and on top of that, can you tell us a bit more about the multi multi mounts like in English today that are coming with this update? So with this update, there's no multi mounts that we're that we're adding uh, specifically to this reserve. Uh, we just decided not not to do it uh, on this specific one, uh, but we're looking into different things as well. And you know how, you know what what type of multi mounts do we want to add? You know, do we want to add some of them specific to Mexico uh, later on? But there's yeah, there's no multi, there's no Mexico specific multi mounts as of right now. Yeah, I know we're hungry. <laughs> okay. Is it possible to shoot a great one at Rancho? Yes. Um, we've actually. Good. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> no, <I'm lucky. laughs> um, I've actually been speaking to the community creators um, a little bit this morning, and they've actually been seeing a nice sort of increase in in diamonds as well um, overall. So. Yes, it's not it's not entirely uh, unattainable anymore, <laughs> or seemingly so. So there have been quite a lot of tweaks and improvements. Trying to catch up on this, is this the weekend creator weekend uh, quatch golf? Um, yes, except we've extended that to um, about seven days ish. So as as we mentioned earlier, the PC release is coming out on the twenty ninth, and that's next Tuesday, I had to check the calendar. Um, so from this afternoon all the way up until basically release is uh, early access for our community creators and a few influencers as well to go and uh, wreak havoc on the stream network and videos and all that kind of jazz. So tune in, have a look, enjoy. Any others that are sort of popping up? I'm looking, scrolling. I'm looking through as well. Yeah, exactly, scrolling. Uh, some of the things <laughs> will hold. we get exactly will we get loadouts and uh, not with this release uh, that's something uh, also under radar but not planned out um, loadouts I'm just making it like the experience much 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 better but it's it's actually a very big feature uh, so it's something that we would have to to spend time on and it's it's a good request I think uh, I personally also like the idea of loadouts <laughs> yeah same so, yeah um, and even the uh the action wheel that was that came with the bloodhound as well that was that was super helpful yeah still scrolling uh, how does the how does the release impact all the other maps does it include bug fixing so i, I won't go again into the long answer but yeah it includes <laughs> uh, bug fixing and we'll go we'll have more patch notes and known issues as well as the release come comes out but there's been a, a lot of fixes and usually a lot of the fixes um are worldwide if you will you know it's not like a, it's not one map specific obviously it can happen you know there might be assets uh, that are just uh, in one map so uh, you know in Mexico it, right now is the only or in Rancho del Arroyo it's the only one that has pheasants so obviously that would be the only one but yeah we uh, we focus on definitely issues that affect the whole um, you know everyone yeah, there was uh, someone somewhere, I lost track of it already, also uh, asked whether or not, uh, or said that they had a bug with the ATV and the lights. Um, that is in the patch notes for this, this current release. So we've, uh, we've given, given that bug the flick because, yeah, it was, it was painful running around Terra Aurora in the middle of the night and next minute you just let the lights just turn off and you're just like, oh, crap, and then you go flying two seconds later. Um... 
will yeah, no. there was something else about never mind it's gone continue there's one, yeah there's one uh at least it might have been before just so we know we're also doing two things at the same time so we might miss your question sometimes uh but i had one which is can we ha uh can we have or i guess can the dogs flush for for you oh, that's a good uh, question not right now not right now um currently the dog so there's no updates to the dog except some bug fixes but there's no feature update to the dog uh with rancho del arroyo uh updates uh, but it's um there are many types of dogs and i think is when we released the bloodhound earlier this year uh, that was like i think the feature where we had the most requests of you know different types of dog and people even sending pictures of their dog saying can you make my dog uh, he can do this. This is uh, so good, is... by the way. Um, yeah. To, yeah, and I were watching, like, just scrolling through those images all the time. Yeah. They were uh, so cute. Yeah, it's the best. And there's many, it's like, yeah, there's flushing, there's a retrieving, you know, there's a, a whole bunch of things that we're, you know, we're also on the radar, you know, thinking, you know, based on what we see, it seems people like the dog, you know, so is there anything in the future we can do? Um, it's definitely something we're thinking. And as Meg, I guess, is kind of alluding to, continue sending us pictures of your dogs. Uh, it's like the best part of the day. <laughs> All right. Now we're on to sort of dog fandom, <laughs> um, which I am totally fine with. Exactly. Is the ATV still always in gear N? What, what does that mean, Sherman? I, I have another question, otherwise I can answer, which is, are there any plans for side missions? Uh, not for this uh, reserve, uh, we just have the main quests uh, where we put all of our focus on in terms of narratives and, and missions for now. Um, also, I just wanted to point out there's something, uh, render bug fixed. Thank yes, you. Is the short answer. <laughs> and then <laughs> when, when will PVP be added? We want PVP. Uh, PVP. This isn't battle royale. No, exactly. This it's not <laughs> not in the plans at all. But if I know, but to be more serious as well, if there's any ideas, like we actually take them all in, uh, and some we might just say no, that's just not for our game. Uh, I yeah, we we can't think. We couldn't think of any smart ways of doing PVP. But you know, like uh, we we make this game together with you all. So like, if if you have good ideas, we'd listen. Um. Apparently, they're talking about the geese fix. I'm pretty sure that was actually something that was in the... Or at least in the known issues list. Let me get back to you on that one. Because I did see something about it somewhere. Um, now I feel bad. I have to jump in. Because uh, it was a question from Harriet Harriet. And, it, and uh, that person said, why did my one stupid question get looked at? I probably missed all <laughs> the other ones, but not on purpose. So It's all about anything. timing. It's exactly. pure luck. Yeah, it becomes there's a lot of things. So if, if I'll try and make sure to, to, to take a look if there's another question that pops from you. Uh, Recall says competitions and in like in Classic would be nice. We agree. Um, and then another couple of people are uh, asking about crossplay in general. Um, what can we say about all that stuff? <laughs> about crossplay? <laughs> um, and yeah, crossplay and, and all that kind of stuff and um i guess some insight into the hunting lodge because um it would reflect on competitions as well a little bit so competition okay yeah so it's a two-parter i guess yeah competitions and hunt, uh and uh cross play uh so competitions yeah and especially relating to classic i think that that's you know how you said it started being mentioned yeah. um is definitely something you know that, that we're looking into how to how to make it work in in a, in um in a better way than it is now. Uh, Classic was made, even though it's an older game, it was made very differently. Where we, uh, you know, we actually built all all up the systems, and they were kind of robust and made for. The, it was also a free to play game, so it was kind of made for all these things to be, you know, kind of working well and kind of really well oiled machine when it comes to those kind of events. Um, it's something that we want to try and, and uh, reproduce, um, but it, it, it takes it takes some time. So we definitely are, you know, discussing, you know, how how can we how can we you know get uh, get better at it uh, at it on on Call of the Wild for um, 
crossplay. Now that's a, a whole other can of, <laughs> that's of, a big of worms. Yeah, like um, I I would say you know especially let's let's first focus on sim shipping uh, before adding crossplay. I would say you know and adding uh, complexity. You know in 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 all seriousness, yeah, I think it's uh, it's it's a it's it's really big and it's it's not necessarily something that's um, easy to take on for developers of our side uh, of our size. Uh, Especially for a pre-existing title, one that's been around yes. for what four years, five, four and a half. There we go. Yes. Um, ooh, six point five millimeter for the range three to seven would be a great idea, maybe. Um, will Whitetail get a reset on Layton with the new DLC? No, not, should I don't. Not yeah. Be, uh, but that's a good question. It should not. Mm -mm -mm. Something about a weapon pack. This is a reserve release, so it is. We are getting a weapon, but not a weapons pack. Now we're we're still on some dogs. We got German pointer, and uh, Tim said beagle. Please, when? <laughs> of course. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, it's not. It's not only external, right? Also internally, people sending us uh, pictures. Um, and I had something, and now I just, I obviously just missed it. Scrolling. Are we thinking? Oh yeah, here we go. Um, so uh, yes, yeah, console. The bugs will only be fixed with the release of the new map. Uh, yes, I mean that's kind of, uh, you know, as soon as it's an update that comes up with with everything at the same time. So you will have the the new map with the the bug. Uh, the bug fixes with it uh, and then there was someone can you look into the aim wobble on ps and xbox as it become uh, as it become unbearable so basically you're having uh, some issues uh, keep an eye on it i know we've been looking into some of this as well um, but this one has been pretty difficult to to reproduce as well so uh, do keep, keep on saying us uh, especially keep on saying us information of how and, and when things happen uh, that makes it easier for us to reproduce it and find a source of your uh, of your issue. Um, and just for on that note as well, so for support information, you can either go to the Discord community where we have a dedicated channel with step by step process, um, or on here if you're on YouTube or Twitch, just um, type in exclamation mark support and it'll pop up with the link. Where are we now? All right. Um, just to sort of rehash on the release date, uh, it will be available on PC on the Tuesday, the 29th, so next Tuesday, and console will be coming in uh, July. Yes. Uh, and there's something that was brought up about the missions again. Yeah. Uh, so it's not being ignored. Uh, we usually do two things on how we decide, you know, like a focus on like missions or, you know, whatever content it may be. So we look at uh, what you are saying, you know, on the streams and on our social channel, and we look at the volume and, you know, what is the the general... <laughs> Did you see <laughs> yeah, I, think I, yeah, I think I saw it. Uh, <sighs> and, uh, and, you know, like the volume and your general, you know, like, do you like it? Do you not like it? So we look at this as well. Uh, but the other side is we also look at, you know, we try to look at the behavioral stuff that you're doing. So are people actually completing missions? Are, you know, are people actually engaging with those things? And we try and put two and two together. So we look at our behavioral data. So like actually what's happening in the game and say, this is happening. And then we just as much look at what you're saying to say, kind of get the why this is happening. So for missions, uh, for us, we kind of feel like it's been something that hasn't, you know, that has come up, that hasn't uh, been, you know, there's a lot of people that, that like it, but there's not so many people that actually end up engaging with them. Uh, and we've actually highlighting, uh, we've actually highlighted uh, a couple of things of like why people, are, why not more people are engaging with the, with the missions. Um, so it's actually a bigger kind of discussions that we even have around the, the missions internally. Uh, but yeah, for this, for now, and for this particular reserve, we just felt like since we're doing this, this is the best ways to focus on a good narrative. And this seems to be what uh, a lot of people kind of interact and engage with within the game. So I hope that was a long answer around uh, missions. I hope you don't feel that it was uh, being ignored. 
Um, on top of this, it was actually kind of a, a cool query. So, um, where was it? Um, will we be adding, or are we thinking about adding hunting blinds in uh, in the water at any point? In the water, uh, I would say <laughs> <laughs> not not anytime soon. Um, no, I think it might to to yeah for transparency. Doing things with the water is much more complicated for us with the game that we have, uh, so we don't have it. And then, so we we don't have anything on it for now. Uh, and then I, there was something about great ones info, please. Oh yeah, so uh, will there be? Is there more great ones on the horizon? Um, it's under radar. Uh, it's uh, we. I don't want to. Yeah. Weird. It's definitely under radar. It's not some. You know, Who knows? It's, it's all, exactly. it, Maybe it's, it's all we say. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, great ones like True Racks is something that we really like because it feels like it's kind of the essence of the game, right? It's like getting the coolest animal, and uh, you know that's also believable and everything. So it it's definitely something we're we're discussing. Um, and then I had another one. Hunt Club. Will Hunt Club be able to ever be activated again? Uh, we're uh, doing some works a bit behind the scene on this one. Um, it's not going to be reactivated now with, for example, the updates, uh, but it's also something we're working on um, as well. So I just wanted to, to touch upon it. Yeah. Um, will there be a next generation upgrade for consoles? I know it's a, um, a repetitive question, but just in case. No, it's, no, it's fine. I, it, I haven't had I haven't had it on the stream yet. Uh, it's something that comes up internally probably as well. All the time. <laughs> so will there be a, a PS5? Yeah, like current gen upgrade. Uh, not not for now. Um, I think one thing that the the current the new gen and the platforms, you know, like Sony and Microsoft have done really well is the backwards compatibility. So we know that our game is at least available for anyone who has those platforms. And uh, now we. You know, we talked about what it would take, you know, to kind of see some improvements and doing these things. Uh, and, and and there's there's substantial. They would be nice, um, but it's it's difficult to um, to motivate doing this when we feel there's a lot there's things that probably have higher priority for you and for us where we feel, you know, there's probably other things we'd like to fix or focus on. Uh, so it's it's something we're discussing. I would say it's not really on the radar for now. So, uh, Goern, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but that's an odd one to, to pronunciate. You said Meg knows. Meg knows what? <laughs> I'm curious now. Everything. <laughs> I didn't realize how um, still far up in the list that I was. I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I was like, oh crap, there's a long way. A lot's happened. Um, next week, we'll be playing. Uh, Rancho del Rodo. This this week, um, it is it is Q and A and chats because I wanted to, well, we wanted to lay out as as much information as possible and give you guys a thorough update as to what's been happening, what's kind of on the horizon, and uh, what's coming with Rancho del Rodo. Yeah, and I think as you mentioned as well earlier, right, Megas, there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, c creator uh, content. Uh, and people that we work with that will give you a whole bunch of, of gameplay in the next coming days. Um, like actually so in the next to... 15 to 18 minutes, give or take, exactly. <laughs> just to be specific. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we wanted to take the time here to make sure we address your questions and then uh, leave the pros, which is you and the con content creator, actually uh, digest the content. Yes. And we'll be looking for, for really good ones to, to cross promote to on our channels. So... We can we can boost the signal a little bit more for our fellow community members. All right, just going back up. Is there anything else that sticks out at the moment? What time do you need to um, POQ leave? Me in in about five minutes. Five minutes, <laughs> quick. Good questions, gold questions. Send them in. Also, which 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 I'm I'm just stirring the pot here. But which dog do you think would be best? as uh, a next release so we've got beagles so far and what was what was the other one um yeah i guess uh mostly i, mean, I, I just want to talk about dogs dog. <laughs> labradors, labradors yeah. yeah so retriever dogs uh oh man like 
if I were if I were to pick, you know, I actually have my own dog, so I would have like it, my dog is a border collie German Shepherd mix. So it's not so much for hunting, uh, but you know, we he could probably he could probably learn, you know. So I'd say I'd say <laughs> I'd have my dog, and what he would do, uh, retriever. No uh, retriever, no flush, flush. I mean, obviously there's yeah flushing because I. I'm so bad at actually getting the pheasants, you know, that I feel like he would help me flush and then I'll be ready to shoot. Like doing both at the same time, you know, multitasking is, is not my thing. So flush. <laughs> mm. I'm looking at looking more about pointers. <laughs> Bird dog. Succinct. What else? Mountain cur. That would be kind of cool. Pit bull. Golden retriever. I'm also searching for questions while I'm just spitting out um, dog names because doggos. So there was uh, questions about, you know, like, again, weapon packs and these kind of yeah. things. Uh, these are always on our radar, a bit similar to great ones and these kind of things. So uh, definitely something uh, we're looking into. Um... Nothing like that is ever ever ignored, and there's always some some kind of weapons pack or or note for these kinds of things um, on the, I guess, the roadmap penciled in at some point somewhere along the way. Um, yeah. Non typical racks. So are we talking about uh, tr true racks? Yeah, I, I, get, I mean, it could be true. Uh, yeah, true. I, if it's true racks, I guess, which is what they mean with non-typical, we're working a lot, quite a lot on them, uh, definitely. So we're still we're still working on them and, and trying to make sure that we're, um, you know, catching up with everything and putting great ones once in a, uh, sorry, not great ones, true racks animal uh, where it fits. Uh, but it obviously doesn't fit with animals that... <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing comments sometimes in the chat. Uh, but yeah, like that plus hunting stuff. trucks. That makes sense. <laughs> what did you say? There's a uh, mountain guns on the AT. No, <laughs> it's like you you want to you want to you know find a good trophy, not return with just a pile of goop. More missions. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm always a fan of missions, and I think that the the narrative team and the design team, well, like the entire team in general, has actually. Um, blown also the the missions out of the water this time and there's so many other little knickknacks that you sort of find along the way as well um, and those little gems are things that I'm really attracted to personally so for example in um, you know Uncharted in general how, like how you pick up um, or you find um, treasures and whatnot so I'm just I'm not going to spoil the entire missions process but there's something really cool uh, inside the the main sort of uh, or the starting zone the main outpost um, so go and go and explore when you first get there when you start it's it's really cool yeah. then there was a, another one uh, that I wanted to take up which is <laughs> I just liked it as well uh, the way it was as the president of the Call of the Wild Free Look Society so basically are we getting free look in Call of the Wild uh, because we had it in classic uh, not for now uh, it's uh, <laughs> It's something we looked actually very early into the into the game, uh, but it was somehow a lot more difficult for us to do on on Call of the Wild than, than Classic. Uh, so not not for now, uh, but just so you know that also yeah, the comment has been seen. Indeed. Beg you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, button mapping would be really nice. Is this is this for console? For console? I guess. Yeah, I was like, we we can do that on PC. So obviously. Never mind. I'm, you know, processing through, you know, process of deduction through my head. I'm slowing down. It's Tuesday. Add rifle suppressors. So that's something that also gets sort of brought up a little bit here and there. And I know in some countries, um, hunting with suppressors is illegal. Like uh, I think it is here in Sweden. Um, but is this something that maybe we, we would or are looking for? for or towards some, at some point in the future so not not for now and it, and it's it's always a, also a bit as you say like a bit of a touchy thing because there's um you know different rules in different countries and different uh, ways of hunting where you know as you said it's illegal it's a bit like a 
it's a bit like um, so silencers are can be seen as unethical you yeah. know, and these kind of things. So for now, uh, it's not something that uh, we, we we're going to add. Um, but, you know, it's always like something continue on bringing the suggestions as well. You know, like it, it can help us, you know, either reconsider something that we, uh, you know, that we prioritize is quite low because uh, that would be also quite low, I think, in general, based on, on the things. But like uh, in Sweden, for example, it's illegal to uh, do bow hunting. And we are in Sweden, but we have bow hunting in the game, right? So it sucks for uh, Matt. That's why he always has to leave the country to do it. <laughs> exactly. That's why, uh, ex why he's, he's uh, always going on hunting trip outside of the country. And we all get to enjoy some deer jerky once he's back. That's true. <laughs> okay. It is it is ten to the hour. Are are you? Yeah. I need to, I need to jump out uh, and do my very super cool like... exit. No, exactly. But it's been it's been really great uh, being part of this. Um, and just know that you know we have Meg and TK always looking at what you're saying. Uh, we're always trying to to find the right balance and and everything in, in what we do. Uh, so we really appreciate all feedback, positive and negative. Uh, so thank you so much, as always, for supporting us. Uh, and we really hope uh, that you like the, the reserve. Yes. All right. Cool. Thanks. Bye. See you all later. Bye-bye. Now I'm going to try something quickly that I haven't done before. Um, well, I set this up at the last minute. Can you still? Yes. I couldn't remember if I'd set up the audio on this channel or not. So there you have it, everyone. The Q and A. Um, I hope you found it super informative. Uh, I apologize if we didn't get around to everybody's questions, which is actually quite inevitable given the sheer volume of comments that come through here. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading through some of these. Ah, Tuesday. Awesome. Um, yeah, we try and get through as many of these questions as as humanly possible. Meggles, you answer now. What I do. PvP, we answered that PvP question. Nope. <laughs> it's a hunting game, it's not a clash or a battle royale. Or a MOBA. Um, when will we know the console release date? All I can say right now is July. Because of what Sasha talked about, it's it's July. Um, we also touched on that a little bit in um, the message or the update announcement that we posted on both Facebook and Discord. Um, and we posted um, just a short intro or um, a heads up about it on Twitter, obviously, within the word character count. So, yes. <sighs> Will Big Horn be getting bigger horns? Not that I'm aware of. Have we fixed the motion? Um, not. I think that it's on the radar. I remember seeing that. Um, I think, either in the QA chat or our back end. Um, a little while ago, but I can't remember off the top of my head what is the goat there. Big horn sheep, better horns. The. <laughs> Um, asked about double frame rate for the console. Um, with that, I think once again, like the, um, what you call it? I can't remember. Um, distance, rendering distance. That's the one. Um, it is on the radar and it is something that is kind of being looked at. Um, that said, we won't be doing or... It's, nothing is on, on the radar at the moment with regards to doing next-gen upgrades or anything like that. So it's not being ignored. It's just not the highest of priorities at the moment because it is quite a large undertaking. Mm, we were talking about that actually earlier, Charles, um, from Facebook, the Barbary sheep um, or the what – what was it called again? The A-something. I need a coffee. That's for sure. Um, but it was on um, the original list at one point, but we had to kind of like work it down. That's the one. Thank you, Andrew. Um, out ad. And the trail cameras is something that is also on the radar, but it's something that uh, is once again not up on the list, even though it does. Um, we actually flag it internally as well as something that, that would be kind of cool. 
Nya, nya, nya. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We've got a couple of minutes left trying to find some good questions that haven't been asked yet. Don't know if that's going to be a thing. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this one more time with feeling. Um, so the release date for uh, Rancho del Arroyo will be um, the 29th, Tuesday the 29th. So that's next Tuesday for PC and it will be releasing in July. Uh, for consoles, we did post a um, an announcement on Facebook and in Discord earlier, and all of the juicy patch notes for the upcoming release, Rancho del Arroyo, is also in Discord. Um, if you're wanting to stay up to date with all of the you know the the latest goss and information regarding the release dates and anything else that may occur, um, just hang out on our social media, join our Discord server. Um, the information will be will be readily available as soon as we are able to post about it in any way, shape, or form. Um, on that note, I'm just going to quickly scroll down. Thank you so much, everyone, for for tuning in. Um, I actually learned a few things myself. <laughs> this stream, it's always nice having Sasha or one of the devs on because there there are certain things that we just sort of pick up on, and even just different different perspectives or points of view which is nice and refreshing it's also nice to kind of um, instead of being the middle person just bring bring the developer team here directly right next to me so we can just have a chat almost as if it's one-on-one -on -one. until next week then I'm excited we're all excited Rancho del Arroyo yes um, hopefully next week um, I'm gonna try and get some multiplayer action happening on the new reserve. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, in about four minutes, our content creators, our community creators will be uh, unleashing mayhem on our Call of the Wild Creator Alerts channel. So check it out. I will catch you on Discord. Have a great week.